kid over there, we have Jack DeBow sitting in uh, for our friend Joe Saylor. That's right. Uh, who do we have over here the, on the guitar? Rejoining us again, uh, we've got uh, a band favorite and a dear friend, Randy Runyon. Randy, thank you for being here. Well, uh, you've got guests, and I've got guests, too. Oh, well, okay. hey, yeah. We got coming up in a little bit, uh, the great Ken Burns. That's the American right. Show, Ken Burns will be out here just a moment. Educate us about our own country. And from the movie Blonde, Anna de Armas is going to be out here in just a little bit. You know, she's from that James Bond movie. Yeah, James she's Bond she's movie. from the Knives Out, and now she's Blonde. Amazing portrayal of Marilyn Monroe. Monroe yeah. Fantastic. Uh, turns out, sad life. Oh, yeah. 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 So it seems. Who knew? Ooh. Folks. <laughs> it's Hispanic Heritage Month when we commemorate the importance and influence of Hispanics in American society. That's right. And it's when corporate brands commemorate how much Frida Kahlo loved the all new 2023 Kia Sorento. <laughs> And as much as Latinos and Hispanics are being celebrated, they're still not recognized in the only place that matters, television. Because according to the latest studies, while Hollywood is more ethnically diverse than ever, Hispanic and Latino creatives remain extremely underrepresented. In fact, just last year, Disney released a whole song about how much they don't want to talk about them. <laughs> And even when they are represented, they tend to be pigeonholed. More than one quarter of Hispanics and Latino characters were depicted as criminals, and 40% of those are depicted committing violent crime. Even worse, now that Better Call Saul is over, all those actors are unemployed. <laughs> well, this needs to change and change now. Here to discuss the lack of representation for Hispanics on television is an Hispanic on television, my writer, Felipe Torres Medina. Felipe, come on out here. <laughs> Felipe Torres Medina, everybody. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hi, Please. Steve. Have a seat. Good to see you. Thank you. Gracias. Hi, Hi, Steve, and hola, Hollywood. So, Felipe, how do you feel about this lack of Hispanic representation? Well, to put it in terms Hollywood wouldn't understand, it's no bueno. So, <laughs> what, what should television do differently? Well, this show's off to a great start. You have a Hispanic on screen with you right now who's not playing a criminal. How brave of me. But <laughs> for other shows out there, do you think there needs to be an effort to hire other Latino and Hispanic actors? Whoa, 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 whoa. Other Latino and Hispanic actors? What's wrong with me? I need the work. No, you don't. <laughs> you have a full-time job writing for me. Progress is incremental, Steve. I believe I can single-handedly solve this representation issue with an exciting new system that I've been working on. During work hours at my show? Roll it, Jim! Are you a producer making a movie and or a TV show, and you realize you have no Hispanic characters, or that all your Hispanic roles are drug dealer number one or Ant-Man's friend from jail? Fear not, because I've recorded myself against a green screen saying phrases that make me sound like a good person so you can easily insert some Hispanic representation into your show or movie. Take a look. Hey guys, just got back from my job as a brain surgeon. Knock, knock. Did somebody say birthday cake in the break room? I did, it was me. I'm gamefully employed. I've taped myself in hundreds of scenarios that will fit seamlessly into your show. Take a look. ID? Nope, nothing on them. Hey, Bobby, make sure you bag it all. Hey, guys, I brought bagels. Perfection. I also offer a discounted version where I have no lines, but just hang in the background of your show dressed like an astronaut. You can even make a whole show just using clips of me. I said fire to this house, but it wasn't arson. It was an accident. I hope the fire department gets here soon. Did somebody say fire department? Hooray! And I brought my Dalmatian. Woof, woof. So order your kit today, because if you need Hispanic representation, I'm your man or dog. It's yours if you want it, Hollywood. Felipe Torres Medina and my Hispanic astronaut. We'll be right back with blonde star Ana de Armas.